Those of you who joined me in waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked, I think that one of my favorite parts of it just went live today. As yes, Samsung has just made the new Galaxy Z Flip 5G official, and we also have uh, even more Galaxy Note 20 Ultra leaks, and they look the real deal. We have some new Ming-Chi Kuo predictions for upcoming iPhone cameras, and they're both good and kind of bad. And speaking of official, ASUS just announced their new gaming beast, the ROG Phone 3. I'm Jaime Rivera, and let me know if you agree, but I think that every single phone going forward needs to launch with a matte copper color. This is Parker Now Daily. Guys, before we begin, thank you for participating yesterday in the poll where we're wondering if we should make the weekly make a comeback in video. We hear you loud and clear, and I actually have a really good teaser for you. Set your clocks for tomorrow at noon Eastern for a treat. We have a special edition of the weekly going live with none other than Hassan Anjum from Samsung, where we're gonna discuss a few of my favorite products this year and also the future of computing. Stick around, it got really interesting. Join us tomorrow in the conversation, noon Eastern in this channel, and in addition, wherever you can download podcasts as well. All right, let's begin today with deals. And uh, yeah, we're actually gonna re-mention some of the ones that Diego wants me to mention for reasons that sound crazy logical. In case you missed it a couple of days ago, Best Buy's Apple sales event is still going on and you should still check it out. For example, the latest 21.5 inch iMac is $150 off, leaving the eight gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage variant for $1,150. The iPhone 11 is still $100 off and they also have deals on MacBook Pros, iPads, MacBook Airs, and more. The first link in the deals will take you directly to the sale. And then moving on to the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, that one is $200 off, leaving it at $800 shipped for the Intel Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage variant. That's actually not bad at all. And finally, B&H has the Moto Edge 5G for $200 off, leaving it at $500 shipped. And then we've also got Coolmaster keyboards, Bose speakers, and more, all in the description. Now, I think it is no secret that uh, probably my favorite earbuds so far are the AirPods Pro. You guys know that I hated the first ones, and I really debate why a lot of companies are following the design of the first ones. If it was terrible, why not follow on the Pro design? Still, for those of you that are waiting to buy for a refresh, you might want to not wait anymore. According to a new Digitimes report, production of the new AirPods Pro will be handled by Eventec Appliances, Luxshare, and others in Vietnam, and they were going to enter mass production as of the first half of 2021 to make a launch in the second half, which means that uh, they will most likely align with Apple's October launch cycle. So we could be getting these with the iPhone 13, and sure, there are rumors that they're gonna bring this light sensor for detection and health and so many things. But yeah, it might be a good idea for you to just jump on the current AirPods Pro by the time those other ones come out. Now, it's been a while since we've discussed Huawei devices. I actually have the P40 Pro Plus for a review that's coming very soon. I am shocked. I was not expecting the experience to be as good without Google Play services. It's actually, let's just say I survived. But anyways, there's another device in the pipeline. We know about the Mate 40 series, and today we get to hear more about it. We got a new report from Elect, and uh, it seems that the regular Mate 40 will be rocking a BOE display, while Samsung and LG will provide the OLED panels for the Mate 40 Pro. The report mentions that these new panels will have a touch-sensitive layer embedded in the display, allowing for better mechanical and optical properties. According to the tipster on Twitter, the regular Mate 40 will have a curved display with a single selfie camera, while the Pro will have a waterfall display with a pill-shaped punch hole housing two selfie cameras. We'll keep you posted as a, am I the only one that doesn't really want a waterfall display on their phones? Why not just go flat? Now, how about if we talk about Apple and the company's uh, possible roadmap when it comes to its smartphone cameras? They look good. 
mostly. So we have some new predictions from Meng Shi Kuo on what to expect for the future. And according to the report, Semco and Sony Optical, which are the best Korean and Chinese lens manufacturers, will enter Apple's supply chain for the second half of 2020 and for 2021. While the consumer doesn't really care about supply chain, the outcome is for the best, as Kuo believes that Semco will provide periscopic lenses for Apple, but here's the problem. The catch is that apparently this is going to happen until 2022. The report also mentions that Apple has been filing patents uh, related to periscopic lenses since 2016, like the one that you're looking at right now. And according to this patent, Apple will use a folded telephoto camera lens system, which would absorb light through a primary lens, have it bounce off the periscope mirror, and then it would be sent to the second lens, which will move up and down for zooming. And yeah, pretty much everything that we've seen on flagships for the past two years. So hurry up, Apple. I mean, 2022, like seriously, we haven't even gotten the 2020 iPhones. But now how about if we talk about official news as they're actually great today. Asus just announced their new ROG Phone 3 gaming phone. And yes, it is a beast. It'll bring a 6.59 inch Full HD plus AMOLED display running at 144 Hertz with a 270 Hertz sampling rate. It's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus and it starts at eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, going all the way up to 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. It packs a crazy 6,000 milliamp hour battery, supports a 30 watt fast charging and it brings improved internal cooling when compared to the last model. The design didn't change too much from the last model though. It'll bring the RGB logo, which can change color for notifications, and you still get the four shoulder buttons that serve as triggers for more immersive gaming experiences. The camera, however, is getting some major improvements. Now we have a triple camera array that consists of a 64 megapixel main sensor, 13 megapixel ultra wide, a five megapixel macro, and also a 24 megapixel selfie shooter. The phone starts at 799 euros and goes all the way up to 1099. And yes, we will be getting new uh, accessories like a new cooler that you can attach to it. But is it just me? Like the price hike is, is it's kind of crazy. But finally, the hottest news today have to do with Samsung, one official, one non-official. I mean, one of the products that I was really waiting for for the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked was the new Z Flip 5G. Don't get me wrong, I love my Z Flip as it is, but I mean, it was missing a few things that were teased and well, now it went official for some reason. So yeah, we were expecting up to five devices and unpacked, which means that the Note, the Z Fold, the Buds, the Tab S7 and the Watch are still pending. This new Z Flip 5G comes with a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus and the rest of the internals remain the same. However, uh, we're now getting two new color variants, Mystic Gray and Mystic Bronze, and these seem to be matte, which look really hot. You'll be able to get it on AT&T, Best Buy, Samsung, T-Mobile, and Amazon, starting at 1500 bucks. Yeah, I know, a little more expensive, and it starts on August 7th. Now let's move away from the official news and talk about the Galaxy Note for a second. We have some new press renders from WinFuture, and let's just say they look pretty official. These pictures are of the Note 20 Ultra, showing off everything we've seen before, including the cameras, the S Pen, and the display, but this time we get some high resolution renders, no more potato quality. They also provide a full list of specifications for the phone if you want to check them out. And uh, well, we've already covered those on leaks before. But anyways, let us know in the comments down below two questions. The first one, how about a Galaxy Z Flip after the buzz? I mean, that's the video that I actually had slated for this weekend that just passed. Then my mother became sick and you guys know the story. So obviously I could still do it for this weekend. If you're interested, there's a lot you should know about how this product ages. And then the second is, uh, well, let me know what you think about this Galaxy Note so far. I mean. I'm really interested and now that the Z Flip 5G came out with the 865 Plus, it pretty much means that the Note is bringing it. So this is getting really good, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me you know, go crazy over specific colors. I wish red would make a comeback. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.